I've heard that a man can fish his whole life and never realize that the fish was never what he was after. Huh. So let's take a look into that as we enjoy real life outdoors. Night one, Caleb takes the lead in the tournament with a 14 1. Hey, look at me. Ow. My dad's got a big Ow. hog with auger. Damn, he sucked that thing down his throat, didn't he? Yeah. Dad's got this big one. I caught a little one over there. <laughs> He's fat. You get it? Yeah. What you get for saying this is your favorite place. Got it? Yep. He's fat. Look at that belly on that thing. 11.15. Oh, you're fat. Oh, oh, oh. You're good. Good morning, boys and girls. Ooh, chilly, chilly, chilly. Started day two here on the Lake Erie expedition. I look pretty rough, don't I? It was a rough night. <clears throat> we got back in about midnight or so last night from fishing. We did pretty good. We caught some pretty decent sized fish. Whew, but man, am I tired. Got back last night, the wind was howling. The electric went off at our campsite. My air mattress went flat, so I've been sleeping on the hard ground. <laughs> and wake up this morning, it's a balmy 50 degrees, and got probably about another 10, 15 mile an hour wind. But eventually, hopefully everybody wakes up. We're gonna get after them again, guys. Oh, it is Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. Happy Mother's Day to my mom, Donna. Uh, hope y'all have a good day. Uh, I'm gonna try to wake up. <laughs> Whew, all right, well, <clears throat> we're in the vehicular and we are heading off to kiss some more fishies. Sun's finally coming up, feeling pretty good. Not supposed to be real super warm today, but hopefully we'll get into some big ones and Mr. Caleb and his 14.1 can get beat today. <laughs> Put in a farm pond. 
tail is hooked up with another one. <laughs> He's a toad. I'm too busy trying to help you get it out of the rocks. <laughs> It's a good eight. Hey, what the hell are you doing? He's fixing my tree sap come out. Don't want no sappy marshmallows. Your daughter. Let her order in. Yeah, she is. Alright guys, we're getting ready to go down to the density access. You can see the process that we go through. 
everybody loading up their carts, divvying up baits. And so we got to walk a pretty good ways down. We'll park way up here and walk all the way down yonder. It's a whole lot easier to have these carts. Oh, I've been hit. Geese. Geese. Calling geese. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Bobby taking a shortcut. Oh yeah, I forgot the stupid stairs over here. Shoot, that a drop to it, Nick. Can you get that? Heading on down to the fishing hole. If the cart don't run me over, coming down this hill. We've caught some gym dandies down here last year. A whole bunch of snakes, too. A little cold out, but there are snakes here. And here we go. Dead calm out here this evening. Last night the wind was blowing 25 mile an hour. It was cold, cold. Super beautiful little spot there. <coughs> oh, what is that out there? Something making a disturbance on the water out there. All right, guys, we are going to get set up, and we'll be back with you in a minute. Hang on, smile. Well, I didn't bring a damn mine. Smile. I got one. Leave that over here. We'll check you that. Here's your handle. Got Bobby hooked up with a drum. Got Caleb hooked up with a big old white perch. I just hooked up a catfish. I'm just sitting here taking it easy. Sam's just sitting here soaking up the sunshine. Lexi's cheering us on. Oh, Dad's over here trying to remember what a night crawler is. <laughs> and we just got set up, folks, so this should be a fun evening. No bottom trolling. <laughs> what about treble hooks? What about tramble hooks? As far out as I was, do I got to have a Canadian license for this? I'll tell you what, if you hook into that 20 pounder that far out, you're going to be out there for there. Miss that one. I got this one too. You caught the fish? Yeah. Yeah. Alright guys, I finally got that fish in after that mess. It's probably about a seven or eight pound channel. 
Caleb's got one hooked up up here. Big roll up. Just got out of the shower. Here. Another little channel. Try to get us another one. We're ready. Did you get him? Got him. He got him. Caleb. <laughs> Caleb wanted to know if he looked like a pro on that one. Y'all leave me a comment. <laughs> Get a little over the shoulder here. <laughs> Shannon. Oh, there's Shannon's. Uh, we might, I might be in yours right there. I am. Oh, never mind. Hey, there goes your one on the end. Here, let's get that undone. Here's your you come on, you put, you put it on Go the ahead. Line. Yep. Got it. Doubles. Bobby over here getting ready to. Bobby hooked up. Y'all, this is how it happens up here at Dempsey. Bobby, there goes your other one too. It just bounced. <laughs> Caleb got his little one in here. Uh, hummingbird lips. Yeah. <laughs> I got my, I'm using live minnows on the bottom over here. Caleb's using night crawlers. Bobby's using night crawlers. And then last night, we got them on Cajun crawl tails and catfish chunk fillets. I was catching them on perch chunks. Yeah, old oh, drum. Drum. Better than that. Yeah, better than that. So that's exactly what's happening in my holes up there. There's nothing. You get me another one, Caleb? Somebody needs a net. All right, I just caught a drum. Dad's hooked up. Shannon's hooked up. It is just non-stop guys, it's hard to film with rods and stuff taking off as fast as they are. Nobody's really got a free hand to... Did get hung on the rock? They got a sinker stuck in the rock. And the fish. First one I've had. <laughs> they come off. Oh, she still got it. Oh, she still got it. Learn from the best. <laughs> I, don't, I, didn't. I don't remember teaching. <laughs> Tell them what they're looking for. Yeah. We're going to have some good eating. 
a big old walleye in there, a couple of yellow perch, some white perch. Mm, yeah. How big was that catfish you just caught? Uh, 16 even. 16 even. Hopefully they move back in here tonight. That's just a baby compared to the 29 or 24 now. <laughs> yeah, that one you got last night. We'll post a picture of it because he was clear down here and it was darker and I don't know what last night. There's no lights down here. And it's hard to film down here at night, but we were absolutely burning them up. And uh, now it's starting to get close to dark again. They're starting to move in again. So hopefully we'll get after them. We're at uh, Dempsey Fishing Access up here on uh, Lake Erie. Sandusky Bay. In Sandusky Bay. <sighs> Hopefully we'll be back in some action here in a minute. Lexi got her a big one. The man felt that way, he'd never have children. <laughs> can I take a picture by it? Hold him up, you can. Yeah, we're going to weigh it. <laughs> Get the hook out. I'm good. I'm good. Ow, that hurt. I'm a third here. Wide tail, don't you? Yeah. Bill the bottom, look at that belly. Uh -huh. Scanned it up. 16, what do you say? Be careful, Dad. I'll say probably 17, 18. I don't know. Thought you wore him out. I tried. Oh my God. Settle down. <laughs> Hang on. 17, 12, 13, 10, 13, 17, 13. Do you think I'll be able to hold them? <sighs> you better hold on to this tie, both hands. Oh, God. <laughs> That's why we haven't been getting a whole lot of footage because it's hard to film and dip and catch fish and everything all at the same time. But hopefully we can get enough footage to give you all a good video. Guys, Shannon's hooked up with what he thinks is a good one. I don't know where all this wind comes from all of a sudden, but it sure is blowing pretty good and chilly. Hopefully we got a contender here. Dead weight, guys. Got him up close. Okay, I'm gonna have to stop here and go help him net this thing.
Well, y'all, it's like, oh God, 30. And uh, we are all just plum freaking tired. I didn't get to film a whole lot, but like I said earlier, the pace the fish were biting, I mean, we couldn't film and catch fish at the same time. I didn't bring a tripod this trip. And I'm telling you what, I'm tired. Well, what do you say we caught today? <laughs> Over a hundred? Easy. I mean, it was it was a blast. And I mean, I say over a hundred, and the average average fish tonight was probably 13, 14 pounds for an average. Old Shannon, he uh, he beat Dad tonight. He took over the lead for our tournament. What was your 20? 24 9. 24 9. And uh, Dad had it with a 23 before that. And then Bobby had it with a 22 something before that. Uh, it's my turn now. So hopefully in the morning Don't you'll get to see me <laughs> catch a big old whopper. But I cannot believe the size of these channel cats, guys. This is unreal. <sighs> biggest channel cat they've ever done yeah yeah like dad said leave in the comments what the biggest channel cat you've caught and where you caught it at that way we know where to come steal your fishing hole <laughs> no, just kidding but seriously leave your comments these are the biggest ones we've ever seen yeah these uh, i've never seen nothing like it it's crazy state record but, 37. yeah state record 37 and we're chasing her down boys wouldn't that be awesome uh, well we're going to go to camp and go to sleep. We'll see y'all in the morning. Yep, we had another good night of fishing. Now we're back at the old skinning shed. And, uh, and uh, we got us a big walleye and some white perch and a yellow perch. We'll fillet them up. We'll eat them at camp here a day or two. But, uh, take a look at these things. Over there, don't they look tasty? <clears throat> I hope it's tasty. I ain't never had walleye or perch. Everybody says they're good, so we're gonna try it. But we'll have to probably add some more to the pile tomorrow. If we get lucky. Good morning, everybody. Woke up early this morning. I'd take a little nature hike here at East Harbor. Uh, me and Dad's the only ones awake. So I'd take a little walk. A little chilly up here this morning. Been walking 52 degrees. Man, is it ever beautiful? Walking along the trails that they got here in the park. Enjoying some of the scenery, listening to all the birds, uh, trying to get the old blood flowing. We were out fishing last night until about one or two o'clock this morning. <coughs> we were having an absolute ball up here. Shannon down here trying to get an old drum off his line. Come down to a different access point on the Portage River today to try to get out of the wind. Blowing about a hundred and ninety out on the main lake today. <laughs> Everybody set up down the little walk path. Fish are biting.
kind of getting ready to hook up on one here. Dad hooked up on one beside of me. Well, I guess the one Shannon was getting packed on his head. Nope. Oh, I got one over here bouncing on mine now. <laughs> Caleb found a nope rope down there. <laughs> oh, <this is> <laughs> I got that on video. <laughs> <laughs> you find your little nope rope down there, Caleb? Yeah. <laughs> we seen you doing the high step. <laughs> Bobby's out here hiding from the wind. <laughs> Thanks, sir. <laughs> he, he's the troll that lives under the bridge. <laughs> Okay. 
because of the stupid wind. Dad's jacket that he got. He said he can't feel this wind or the cold. Trust me, up here, that's an advantage. You can't feel the wind. Oh, you got another drum? Yeah. Boom, boom. Kissing a lot of them. Oh, crap. Here we go again. Hold on. Alright, we're just bragging on my nice warm coat. Hands me his camera and I got my gloves off. Probably gonna freeze today. Well, he's starting to come in here. He's caught a lot of fish today. Home. Of course, for you people that watch on a regular basis, you know he stole my spot. Some good ones caught on. I'd say 17, 18 pounders, and it's it's done a good job. Definitely don't like them rocks, does he? Let's get a look at him and I'll help you. Oh, you 
got a little old man. Help him out. He finally got it out of there. It's a workout. Yeah, that's a being about the smaller size we've been catching. And for a channel cat, that's a good size channel cat. Yeah, he is. He's all fat. Ain't real long, but fat. Good. Well, guys, we're going to head back to camp. Whew. We may come back out again tonight, probably. We're going to go back to camp, get the fire started, cook up that walleye and those uh, perch and stuff that we caught yesterday. Uh, battery's going dead on the camera. I mean, we're not getting like all the fish we're catching because there just ain't no physical way. This video would be four freaking hours long if we took every fish that we caught. But like I said, we're just trying to give you some kind of idea of how much fun we're having up here, sharing some of the fellowship with you guys. Yeah, Dad said that we went through 500 night crawlers in the first three days. We still got tomorrow and Friday left and we'll be heading back home Saturday. But, you know, like I said, we're just trying to share the fellowship and love of the great outdoors and stuff with you guys. You don't need to see every single daggone fish. <laughs> but, like I said, we're gonna pack it up, head to camp, start some dinner, and we'll see when we get there. All right. All right, guys. We're packing up and heading home. First, last thing we gotta do is award the trophy to this year's wiener. I mean, winner. Uh, Shannon. He uh, ended up catching the biggest one of the trip with a 24.9. Man, that was a heck of a fish. I ain't never seen a channel cat that big in my life. So we present him with the 2023 Lake Erie Champion Trophy. And most importantly, he gets the $150 pot that we all put in together, minus the $20 finding fee. <laughs> so here you go, Shannon. Congratulations. I get $20 dip net fee. <laughs> Yay! Congratulations, Shannon. Even though you won by mere ounces. 20 of them to be exact. <laughs> 